45 here in Colorado on a Thursday night. I'm here to do a quick video because I want it to go out to everyone who possibly can hear it. I just got a message from Byron Searle. You know, if you've seen my video today, you know I was talking about the same subject matter today, uh, about the babies, the murders, the, all the things that's gone on, the abominations going on around this country, this land, the lands. So um, I'm going to go and read his message, and that's all I'm going to do here tonight. But um, you see on the screen, we have all the exciting uh, prophets of old, Daniel, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, I I Isaiah, uh, all the ones uh, that have been giving us messages. And you know, right now, Daniel and John, and they're John, they're revelator and revelations. We are in the revelations right now. Um, as I was just looking at an article that came to me over the Facebook page, uh, China cracks down on Christianity by demolishing churches, conference Caden Bibles. And so, uh, you know, this is all happening around us every day. It's getting more evil and more evil and more evil. So uh, I'm going to go here and just read his message that he gave me today. Uh, I'm sure it's not in his blog right now. Tomorrow it probably will be in his blog. I had to go and copy and paste it, so I'm going to just read it from there. Um, so anyway, I just wanted you guys to be aware and stay focused, stay focused on what's going on. It's so urgently important, these messengers to keep ourselves focused. Okay. Uh, that Yeshua is coming soon. Um, so I'm going to just read it and then I'll be back with another message later. Cause I have another person I want to share, but I'm not going to talk about it now, but I want to share it. It may be on tomorrow's video. But this is the one just came in tonight. Uh, Byron Searle, 2-21-2019. Gerald Brom. Gerald Brom, 1 Kings 12, 13, 14. Instruction from the Lord was for us to read the text of all three chapters, okay, for understanding of this word. And if you go and read it, you'll find that he was between, he was a king and he was between another king. He didn't take the instruction from the Lord like he should have. So, uh, you know, that's what it's about. This, uh, this, uh, if you're disobedient, you know, you, you're just making matters worse on yourself. And that's why America has not, America has not repented, honey. We have not repented. We have not repented. We need to repent, repent and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out. And we need to repent, make a U-turn, make repent. And we haven't. So we're going to have all these things coming on the earth. All these things going to be happening. So as it says here, uh, and I want you to go and read these these ch these chapters, okay? Get time to take out to read these chapters as we've been instructed to do. Uh, I may talk about it on another video at another time, but not tonight. Uh, but here it says here, John 8, 12, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. The Lord Jesus began speaking. My son, my video, my, hold on, people, my, I'm going to turn my phone off. It's just, they always picking, taking up these, uh, they're always putting up these games that flash out on you on my phone. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to read this over. It says here, uh, then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. The Lord Jesus began speaking, my son, this nation is following in the footsteps of Israel. The king of America has around him men who are deceived and are advising the king to do great evil. Okay. These advisors do not care about the sacrificing of babies to Molech. And I just talked about that today. All these babies being murdered, okay, uh, being aborted, uh, uh, all our children being killed, slain, okay. They do not care that the laws of the land promote sodomy and force the people to accept it or face punishment. Just as Jeroboam drove Israel from me and made the people worship strange gods, 
So is this king of America. He has deceived the very elect into following his mission to divide the people. My son, I said, I allowed this king. Do you get this, people? I allowed this king to come into power, to allow my remnant to prepare. Exactly, exactly what I know, people. Exactly what's happening. Exactly what I've been telling you guys for so long, that Yeshua have allowed uh, this king, uh, uh, the president or whatever, this king to come in to prepare you guys, to give you more time to get ready. That's all it's about, judgment coming. All these things going to be coming on the earth is for us to prepare, okay? He have allowed this king to come into power to allow my remnant to prepare. But as many of my chosen have not prepared, the time of this king will soon end. I have shown many of my servants his endings, his ending through dreams and visions and words. So this will not take my remnant by surprise. It won't take me by surprise. I'll tell you that. I know better. My son, the sin of this nation is great. Just as the sin of Israel was great. And I allowed an army from the north to destroy it. Jeroboam was the first king of Israel to bring great abomination into the land. This king of America will bring the final destruction of a land that has caused great abominations in my sight. As Israel was blessed, so was America. As Israel was cursed, so is America. The father began speaking here. Now let's, let's see what the father's saying here. The father began speaking here. America, your days are numbered. Your time is up. You have cuddled sin like a baby and have served the gods of Molech and Baal, B-A-A-L, Baal. You have converted my house into a whole house, bringing in every line, spirit, and doctrines of devils. You have built your groves and worshiped your idols of self. I have seen your sin, and now my hand is lifting, just as it did to Israel, and the spoilers came in. I gave you time to prepare. Soon, gross darkness will cover the land and you will perish if you have not gotten your houses in order. Many of the prophets out there, many of the prophetess out there have been talking about this three days of darkness. A lot of people have been talking about it, more than I could ever imagine. I've been seeing it on, on YouTube. I've been seeing it. I've even shared some with you guys. So we know this gross darkness will cover the land and you will perish if you have not gotten your houses in order. The natural house and the spiritual house. The time is up and this nation must now face my indignation. Your cities will be turned into ash. America, you will decease. You will de decrease as a world power. Your mighty dollar will be worthless. Your army and navy will be defeated in one hour. And the wall you built will not hold back anything. The wall you built will not hold anything back. I mean, anything back. This wall, okay, that he's, he's talking about. Um, but hold you in. I see what it says? And the wall you built will not hold anything back, but hold you in. America, a time of great darkness is upon you now. This will turn to gross darkness as I move across the land. My son, tell my remnant to be on their knees daily. And I will speak to them. If you are not washed in the blood of Yeshua, now is the time. Repent of sin in your life. Ask my son into your heart. Follow him and his word only. Do not be deceived, for there are many false Christs and many deceivers. Trust no man, but trust God only. I will lead and guide you. I love you, but hate sin. And America's cup is overflowing with sin. I am coming soon. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. The Father and Messiah, Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. And people, I'm telling you, I, it's true. What I said today, I was telling you guys the same thing. Uh, a lot of people speaking the same message right now. Uh, I'm going to probably do another short video of somebody else's message saying the same thing, confirming the same message. You know, America would not be great again, people. Get it over your head. It won't happen. We haven't repented. We haven't. Okay, so Yeshua is speaking here, and he's saying we need to repent. We need to repent. We need to repent. We need to repent. Okay, we need to absolutely prepare ourselves. 
It does not matter what you have done. God forgives. We need to understand that. Don't let the devil tell you lies. Don't let the devil tell you, oh, it's, oh you just might as well give up. Oh, you're going to done this and you're going to done that and you're going to done this. We need to repent right now. We need to fall on our knees as he is saying in his message and listen for Yeshua's voice. Let him instruct you. Let him guide you. Let him counsel you people. So I'm just going to leave it here now. And I'm going to go now and I'll, I'll be back on another short video. But people, it's time to repent. It's time to get over your uh, sins, make a U-turn. You know, repent means to make a U-turn. You don't go back to the garbage you used to do. You leave it. You leave it. You leave it. You delete it and leave it. Okay, that's what repent means. And you give it to the Father and say, Father, here I am. Forgive me for my sins. Forgive me, Father. Forgive me. Forgive me. And he will forgive you if you honestly and faithfully mean it. Okay. Now you're going to fake out with him. He knows it. So you can't fake out with Yeshua. You need to just be honest about it. Okay. Go in your closet and be honest about it. This is serious matters coming before us. Things about to change. Things about to change quickly. So I'm just telling you guys to repent and get ready and prepare. And I'll see you guys in another video. Have a wonderful night. Shalom, shalom. Bye-bye.